In this video on Mogul TV you will learn how to always win in popular games such as rock paper scissors, tic tac toe, and others. For ways to always win in popular games. Number 1. Let's start with the popular game of rock paper scissors. Give me a like if you always thought winning this game was just a matter of luck. But this is not the case. This game is directly related to psychology, so there are several psychological tricks on how to always win this game. Chinese scientists conducted a scientific study that involved 360 people. They each played more than 300 games of rock-paper-scissors with random opponents. From this, the scientists formulated how most people choose one or the other sign and what to do to win. Here are some of these rules. First, watch your opponent's fingers. They will tell you exactly what move will be next. If the opponent has strained all his fingers, then his move will be a stone. If all fingers are relaxed, then it will be paper. And if only two fingers are strained, respectively, it will be scissors. Also, an important point. The vast majority of men always start with a stone, as they subconsciously associate this image with the desire to be strong. But women, on the contrary, are more likely to start with scissors. If you play not just once with the same opponent, but several games at once, there are certain patterns that are repeated by almost all people. The vast majority of people do not toss the same symbol three times in a row. So you can just show the paper three times in a row and with a high probability you will win at the end of three rounds. If your opponent has repeated the same gesture twice in a row, he is unlikely to repeat it a third time. Most likely, he will make the exact opposite gesture. That is, if the first time he showed a stone, the third time he will show paper. If the first time it was scissors, the third time it will be a stone. Also, there is another trick of the mind that must be used to win. The fact is that, according to research by psychologists, a person tends to imitate his own kind. If you unobtrusively show, for example, scissors to your opponent several times before the game, it is likely that they will show it. You can do this, for example, under the pretext that you are reminiscent of the rules, while you will only show the scissors gesture with your hands, and simply say all other gestures in words. Armed with this knowledge of psychology and human behavior, you can easily win the game of rock-paper-scissors. Number 2. Arm Wrestling. This game seems to be all about power. It is not for nothing that arm wrestling is officially a sport. But it is unlikely that you will compete against world champions. But in an ordinary competition between colleagues or friends, you can defeat even an opponent who exceeds you in strength and weight. All you need to know is the right technique. First, it's not just the arms that are important in arm wrestling. Be sure to put your supporting leg forward. If you fight with your right hand, you extend your right leg. And if left, then left, respectively. A firmly standing support leg is half the success in arm wrestling. Second, keep the distance between your forearm and your body as small as possible. This way you will use not only the strength of your arms, but also the weight of your own body. This is a big advantage. Third, raise your wrist slightly upward. This will bring your wrist down and your opponent's wrist will bend in the opposite direction. This small move will increase your chances of winning several times over. And, of course, make sure your opponent doesn't pull that trick on you. And finally, when pushing, pull your opponent's arm toward you, thereby reducing the distance between your forearm and your body and almost leaving no chance for your opponent. Number 3. Tic-Tac-Toe. Victory in this game is calculated mathematically, as there are several winning combinations that are easy to remember. Combination number 1. Consider this situation, you go first. Put a cross in a corner. If the opponent put a zero also in the corner, you next move to occupy another free corner. The opponent has nothing to do but put a zero here to prevent you. And then you put a cross in the last free corner. You have as many as two winning combinations. And your opponent has only one move to spare, so you are a guaranteed winner. Combination number two. You start the game again and put a cross in the corner. 
Suppose this time your opponent put a zero in the center to block your way diagonally. The next move you put a cross in the opposite corner on the diagonal. If your opponent puts the next zero in any corner, then you are 100% the winner. Just put a cross in the remaining empty corner, and you again have two winning combinations. Combination number three. You put a cross in the middle. If your opponent puts a cross at the top in the middle, your next move is to put a cross in the corner. The opponent has nothing to do but put a zero in the far corner. And then you put a cross in this corner and create two winning situations for yourself, and you are a winner again. Like this video if it was interesting, subscribe to Mogul TV, click on the bell to keep up with new videos and of course comment on this video.